Saki? How's Ruby? There is no sign of her waking up yet, but all the numbers show her to be in a stable condition, with no fluctuations. Lin, did you get what you need? We've found a lockbox left behind by Rubilia. We are just about to give Archon Larson a report. Archon Larson is still awaiting updates at Cloudtop. Go. I'll stand guard here. I'll notify you as soon as there's any news on Ruby. Thanks, Saki. Let's go. Lin, is there nothing else you can do with the lockbox Rubilia left behind? I'm sorry, Archon Larson. Rubilia never said anything about a lockbox to me. It was Tian Long who found the hidden compartment inside by accident. <sighs> It'll all be for nothing if we can't find any clues to open this lockbox. Archon Larson, this lockbox's model was widely used in the Maidalin Foundation. Maybe I can attempt to decode it without corrupting the data inside. Miss Lyra, how confident are you? Don't worry, Archon Larson. I'll immediately stop whatever I'm doing if something goes wrong, to ensure the data inside remains intact. Miss Lin? Please. Deciphered. We went through everything for this? Miss Lin, the data inside the lockbox is incomplete. I cannot decode anything more from it. Only a blurry video clip? Miss Lyra, could some data be corrupted during the decoding process? No. I assure you, there's nothing I did that would have compromised the data inside. What we saw was the entirety of- Why did Dr. Rubilia leave a piece of meaningless info in a hidden compartment? Tian Long, did you find anything else noteworthy on site? Unless... There are more hidden compartments. 
compartments, but Rupilia doesn't seem like a person who'd bother with it. Right, Lynn? Sorry, but I don't have anything for you at the moment, Archonlars. We'll call it a day for now. Dr. Clive, you and your team have to decipher and learn what you can from the data retrieved by Lynn and Tian. Yes, sir. As for the lockbox, I'll ask our technicians to restore the data and hope for the best. alone just now with a solemn face. I didn't dare to call her. Is she in some kind of trouble? Miss Lyra unlocked the lockbox, and we found a recording left behind by Dr. Rebellion there. It's blurry despite that. We found some lab data on Ruby, but what's in the lockbox must be crucial. That's probably why Lynn is in a bind right now. Is that so? Lynn must have gone to... that place. That... place? Lynn would sometimes stand on the balcony of the Oasis to think. After Ruby came, she often took Ruby there too. Ruby always said it's her secret base. After everything that has happened, I'm worried about her, but... I have to stay here to watch over Ruby. Can you please check on... Hmm. Well, let's go see Miss Lynn for a bit. Even if we can't comfort her, at least we can let her know that we're all there for her.
I just wanted to be alone for a while. Sorry for worrying you. How did you find this place? Captain Sakifua told us. It has a nice view, and it's quiet, unlike in the city. Did Ruby draw all those things? Uh, it's our little secret base. Ruby loves it here. Is that Dolly and Spark? They were best friends. They wouldn't even let me in on their secrets. So Dolly and Spark must know a lot of Ruby's secrets. Secrets. Spark. Spark. How come it only occurs to me now? It's long been left. I'll keep Ruby safe. And I'll find you. Just you wait. Spark can help us decode the info in the lockbox? Spark is a support unit specially designed by Rubilia. It may contain a controlled runtime or supplementary data. What Lin said was indeed possible. We may have the data, but not a way to read the data. Spark may be the thing we need. Archon Larson, please wait in the infirmary with the rat. Fine. Get the lockbox to the infirmary, Lyra.
imagine what you're feeling while reading this message. Is Ruby all right? I'm sorry that I lied to you, but you know I had no other choice. Now that I've hit a wall in my research into the gray space entities, I will be going into the confounding abyss. It has what I need to proceed. Maybe I'll solve the mystery surrounding the gray space entities and take them back to you. Or maybe I'll be gone, just like the Forerunners. Anyway, that's all. Good luck to you. And thank you. So Rubilia went... there. What does she intend to do? Archon Larson, I suggest that we immediately relaunch the exploration of the Confounding Abyss. If Rubilia was really in there, it would be in our best interest to locate her ASAP. Lynn, do you think Rubilia could have survived in a place like the Confounding Abyss? I don't know. However, in the message she left, she said there was something she needed inside the Confounding Abyss. She knew very well how treacherous that place was, and I believe she had- I agree with Miss Lynn. Dr. Rubilia's knowledge of the Gray Space Entities far exceeds ours. If we could find her, or at least more of her research data, it would greatly benefit us. Just a moment, you two. Rubilia left this video clip over two years ago. We cannot be sure if she really did go into the Confounding Abyss, or if she is still alive. Even if we are to relaunch the exploration into the Confounding Abyss, it'll take a lot of time to get everything prepared. I trust that no one wants to repeat the same tragedy. Lyra is right. Before we relaunch the exploration, we better be fully prepared for anything. Lifting the lockdown on confound- You look like you have something to say. Miss Lin, what kind of place is that confounding abyss that you just talked about? About that. Few people in Mororia know this, but you should have heard about the second city, right? We've seen it in the archives. Well, about 20 years ago, Mororia's exploration teams discovered a gigantic underground space and proposed plans for a third city. Within the following years, after the underground space was discovered, Mororia must have sent hundreds of explorers in different batches to lay the foundation for the project and explore its depths. Everything was going smoothly, then all contact was suddenly lost. No communication, no responses, everything just went dead. The people, what's more, its terrain seemed to have undergone drastic changes. Nothing obeyed our known laws of physics. So that's why it's called the Confounding Abyss? That's right. Also, based on the images sent back by the droids... Unknown civilizations? Aliens? We know nothing about those ruins and who built them, but there are signs of grace still. We have no way of safely investigating the area. That's why Mororia locked down the entrance to the Confounding Abyss. Until now. Miss Lin, where exactly is the Confounding Abyss? Now, right beneath our feet and underneath Mororia, lies the pit that is the entrance to the Confounding Abyss. What? If the Confounding Abyss really is that dangerous, why is Mororia still here? There's a subgravity field in the region where Mororia is. Scientists couldn't understand what caused it, but the anti-gravity engines which kept Mororia afloat rely on that field to function. Then, when the Confounding Abyss was discovered, they realized the subgravity field was caused by the Abyss's effects on our laws of physics. In other words, the current state of Mororia relies on the delicate balance between the Confounding Abyss and our reality. But, that also makes Mororia a prisoner. The Second City Project is underway, but it's far from being able to provide for the denizens of Mororia. This may be why Archon Larson is so concerned about relaunching the exploration operations. If our actions somehow broke the balance between the Confounding Abyss and our reality, 
the whole city would pay for our failure. That's truly unbelievable. As you can see, this is a very risky operation. We better wait for Archon Larson to make... Executor, Archon Larson invites the both of you to attend the meeting at the headquarters. It's about the confounding abyss. Has Archon Larson decided to relaunch the exploration operations? Maybe. I'm almost at the headquarters. I'll see you in a bit. Yeah. <laughs> 